Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to my channel. This is Duran's Garage Built. My name is Jose and thank you guys for tuning into this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you guys waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this channel, that will really help me uh, and benefit me. So what are we gonna be working on today? It's gonna be a very easy, simple replacement. We're gonna be replacing the hood lift supports on this 2005 Mercedes ML500 that we're gonna be. All right, so before I, I purchase anything, that has to do with my vehicles. I like to do my research on trying to get the best price, also OEM spec. Um, I went on Amazon, I went on eBay, Craigslist, and Rock Auto. So, the best option that I recommend for you guys is definitely go to Rock Auto. This, I'm not sponsored by them, obviously. Uh, go to rockauto.com. This is where I bought these original Saks hood lift supports for the ML500. Um, each of them went for about 11 and change, totaling up to 23 plus, plus some dollars of shipping. But, uh, so everything came out to around, around $33. I went on eBay, I went on Amazon, and each of them were going for about 30 plus. So definitely check out Rock Auto to get the best pricing uh, for your parts for your vehicle. So what are we gonna be working on today? Obviously we're gonna be replacing the Saks hood lift support. Um, I did purchase, when I purchased the vehicle about a, about four to five months ago, I, I replaced the hood lift support with some cheapy kind of eBay um, non-generic uh, aftermarket um, lift supports. Obviously don't do that because you will eventually be replacing them within a few months. So uh, I went online and I checked to see what will be kind of OEM spec. Saks makes parts for the Audi and they also make parts for the Mercedes. So I went ahead and picked the sack. So enough of the talk, let's go ahead and get started. This is a very easy build, uh, I'm sorry, replacement. It will roughly take you about three to four minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. To open the hood, obviously there's a little latch right here, the hood latch, you pull it, and the hood should come up. Now these were the ones that I purchased a few months ago. If I let go, I think it's just gonna fall. So they honestly lasted about maybe like two months. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. And that's what I get for trying to save money. I bought these for about 15 bucks on eBay. I don't recommend it. I just say stick to OEM specs, Saks, Rock Auto. I always carry a bag in my car, so. Louisville Slugger will take care of the job. They come with clips all you got to do is uh get a, a flat uh screwdriver put it in pop out the clips and they should easily pop out and then from here this one came with the little clip right there so all you do either you could try to jam it out which is not you get your screw driver and you just pop out this there you go this little thing just came off it's out and then it should easily come out boom so there you go this is how it looks, you get that clip, you snap the clip off, that clip goes in here, just move it, it should come off, look at that. That's how you know they're cheap. Wow, it's a non-brand. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our Saks model number, okay, club. come in, SG. 403062 SG 403062 so I'll go ahead and put a link on the description uh, where I got these high pressure look at that oh, I, can't even, I can't even push it in all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and start from the bottom to the top or either way it doesn't really matter we'll start from the top start from the bottom it's all good we're gonna get the clip just kind of move it out once the once you open it up so where the hole could go in I'm just going to go ahead and push it in and snap it back in there you go clip this back in and then we're going to move this outward oh great I'm going to have to push it in dang it oh, 
Oh, right there. There you go. Oh my god. I think it's gonna fall. We're gonna replace both of them, but I'm gonna hold on to this one because this one, this one's still good. Can't even push it in. We're gonna hold on to this one, definitely. Guys, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Bam. We install them both. Back up. And now... Well, that pretty much covers it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. But what we're going to be working on on future videos is we're going to go ahead and be replacing the antifreeze on the ML500. This has got the regular standard green. Obviously, I'm, I'm running a little bit low, so I'm going to fill it up. Uh, we're going to be doing a video on flushing the system and putting new correct antifreeze. We're also going to be replacing the shocks, the front shocks, the rear shocks, the lower control arm, the upper control arms, the rack and pinion. Uh, I removed the, I replaced the brakes, but I'm probably going to do a quick video on how to replace the front brakes. It's very easy. All you got to do is, if you can, there's two pins in here. All you do is hit the pins out. Boom. The Cats come out so it's pretty simple so we're going to be working on that in a future video so stay tuned for those videos this is my audi a5 2011 and what we're going to be doing on our future videos is we are going to be pulling these dents out with a dent puller diy we're going to be replacing the uh upper and lower timing chain uh, the gasket is gone bad, so it is leaking from the front, and I'm constantly uh, adding about a quart of oil, about a little bit less than every month. So um, I'm gonna have to remove the whole front end just to have access to the timing uh, chains, so stay tuned for that video as well. And uh, just random tune-ups stuff for the car. Uh, well, that pretty much covers it. Thank you guys for tuning to my channel. Uh, this is a brand new channel. I'm going to be working on both vehicles and also a 2013 Chevy Cruze. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, like this channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.